Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from AppsDBA.info. I uh, just want to show you how to handle a failed job. Uh, so luckily the, the help file has failed, right? So I just want to tell you like in how in, uh, in for example in 12.2, how do you, uh, how do you verify? So when I was uh, uh, watching, you know, uh, right, right, right. So we were applying the patch in the previous uh, session and uh, yeah so it what happens is you know it, it comes out you know for example you get some error and it comes out it says it has failed now what you need to do you need to open this log file you know for example you open this log file and see what has happened oh, okay oh, okay all the worker has uh, failed so all the four workers have failed so in order to identify uh, which workers have failed uh, what you need to do you need to run ad controller right you know for example you need to run the ad controller right you need to run the ad controller and enter the the one the first option is show worker status so it should says oh all the four workers have failed right so now what you need to do you need to open uh, you know of course uh, you can open all the worker log files but in our case i am just opening uh, one worker log file and uh, you know when i see you know in, in this particular directory all the worker log files be there you open the uh, one of the worker log file and see that uh, uh, the issue is with the table space so now what you do you go to the database and add the uh, data files you add the data files now what you need to do is uh, you know you need to restart the worker using ad controller so in this uh, ad controller you need to select the option number two option number two tell worker to restart a failed job so once you say that, once you say that, uh, once you say you have to select option three, like, you know, uh, you select two and enter, you need to enter all, like, you know, you need to enter all. So once you, because you wanted to start all the workers, if it is only one worker, you need to give that worker name. So what will happen is now the status will be fixed and restart, but that will nothing to do, nothing to do. It will be just in fixed and restart unless you run, you know, unless you run ADOP again, with restart is equal to yes. Restart is equal to yes means again you want to start from the place where it has stopped. If you don't give again it will tell you fail, fail, fail. You need to say restart is equal to yes or abandoned is equal to yes. If, if we wanted to continue from the place where it has stopped, that's the reason why we need to say restart is equal to yes. So why not we do that? So right now if you see the status of the AD controller, yeah, it is fixed and uh, you know fixed and restart. So now we'll just come out and now what i do i say restart is equal to yes so now the process will start So we'll pause the session and see continue with the see what's happening so you can also what you do if you tell you are interested you can tail the log file see okay something is happening okay right like that you can monitor like this or you can go to ad controller and monitor hey see from the fixed restart it has started again so this is the way you know especially Sorry, these are the type of opportunities what you uh, you know you you become more experienced when you handle uh, especially the worker starting failing and different uh, scenarios right so why not I paste this also so in a AD controller you can you can monitor you know you can monitor that it has started so let's wait for that to complete it and then we will continue with the next topic this will be the last chapter. Uh, this will be last chapter after this uh, I'll be running the cleanup and the FS clone which can be you know it will take a couple of hours to finish uh, I will be I'll be running this and leave it uh, leave it to run in the background but otherwise you know uh, we are overall done with this maybe I'll take one more uh, uh, one more session uh, just to cover all the topics what we did from the uh, beginning to end hope you hope you will like the session even at the end uh, we have all the you know we have all the issues and problems what we regularly 
you know or, or what we regularly faced uh, in our organization you can take this as a document as a base uh, you can take this as a document as a base and you can continue going on you know uh, you can going on improving on that like you know issues and solutions we have oh actually i wanted to cover one more like you know how to deploy the gre for windows we can even try this also maybe in the next topic i'll cover this topic uh, but yeah let's wait for the patch to get completed then we'll will come up let me pause the session well the patch is the you know the hot patch is so uh, you know the help patch is successful so now what we'll do we'll cover another topic uh, which is how to uh, you know uh, uh, you know upgrade the jre if you see the current version is uh, you know 1.6 uh, and which is very very old so we can upgrade to the latest version you know uh, jre 8 version how to do that so first we need to apply this patch and then run the you know uh, then run this particular command uh, yeah these are the two commands what we need to run so let us do one, one by one so first i will apply this patch let me pause this session oh actually the fact is the patch is already applied so we don't need to apply the next step is what we need to do is we need to uh, copy the exe file let me check yes so these are the this is the jre file so what i need to do is i need to copy to a particular location yeah into this particular location right and i go to that location and i you know what you know i what i do is i'll move the name as like this so just basically i'm just moving the file to 18202 the format should be correct exactly like that and now what i need to do is i need to run this command passing the version 18202 so this will take care of everything it will update the the plugin it will also run the auto config so if the application is already started uh, we better yeah application has to be stopped before you can run this particular activity so with this we also have updated the you know uh, jre plugin and you can log in and you can verify so with this we will i will end this chapter and uh, uh, in the next session i'll just give you a complete review of everything thank you for watching